the spring light falls into winter night. Hold on. Hi, this is Raj. And I'm here with Catherine Kennedy, Leslie Vegas, <laughs> and Claire Connolly. So we're going to talk to them about our Catherine's uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation. Hello, Catherine. How are you? Thank you so much for coming today. Tonight we're doing an event for Prevent Cancer final kickoff party because we're doing the 5k run slash walk and that's going to be Sunday. Can you tell us more about that Catherine? Well I got involved with the Prevent Cancer 5k four years ago just running it. Um, tweeted a lot about the event and they asked me to come in and be their skin cancer um, spokesperson so I, I shot a bunch of PSAs with the organization and then now I sit on the board. This year I'm the chair and it's going to be at National Stadium, which should be really exciting. We're trying to really promote the idea of health and wellness as a means for prevention. And so I think being at a stadium where, you know, there are professional athletes, I think it should be really inspiring to see your heroes, but then realize the real heroes are those that are running for the prevention of cancer and those eight prevent preventable cancers. What is the name of the organization and how can people reach your organization? You have like a website or a Twitter account or a Facebook or something like above. that. <laughs> yes. So it's the Prevent Cancer Foundation. It can be found at preventcancer.org or at Prevent Cancer um, on Twitter. And we love social media, so we'll follow you back. You are the only organization in the U.S. which is exclusively concentrating on preventing the cancer. So there's eight preventable cancers ranging from oral cancer, breast cancer, testicular cancer, colon cancer, etc. Um, as you hear of prevention for obesity, for heart disease, etc., it's the same key factors. It's eating a healthy diet and getting out and exercising at least one hour a day. Um, these healthy lifestyle factors, not smoking, will help prevent cancers. Um, these eight, as well as many others, as well as heart disease and a variety of other diseases. One of the things that I, the reason why I got involved specifically with Catherine, we were friends previously, was because there is no other organization out there that actually does prevention for cancer. And the reason why Prevent Cancer is there's not an organization that actually helps people fund cancer. For example, it's $250 for a mammogram. I have that one memorized. <laughs> then it's $10 for a skin graft or for a prostate, prostate exam and then so forth and all those are located actually on the website so the reason why we did this fundraiser was when we started our prices at ten dollars we got sponsors that came in because a small contribution of ten dollars can actually help save one life saving one life is it will feel so good for your heart and it could actually be a family member or friend the chances of you not knowing a best friend a close friend a family member out there that does not currently have cancer or has ever been diagnosed with cancer that's a cancer survivor which of course we would love that to be the case or they've passed away from cancer is the numbers are so high and they're, we're surrounded by this every day so people could become aware and help people just by a minimal contribution of ten dollars or come and run the 5k race with us which I'm walking it she's probably running it but you know you can do walk or run and and every little every little bit helps toward the cause and it's the only local organization that I know of that actually does a prevention toward a disease. What is the message for somebody who doesn't have cancer right now? So what are the precautions they have to take? I mean, just one or two sentences. So the Prevent Cancer Foundation is all about empowering. It's empowering you to get out there, eat a healthy diet, um, go out and exercise with friends. Uh, we actually have a program called Pets for Prevention. You know, get a dog and go run with your dog every day. Um, just be active, live a healthy lifestyle, don't smoke, and stay out of the sun and wear sunscreen and you're on your way to prevention. Which is the major cancer in U.S.? Which is the highest percentage of cancer in U.S.? And how do you, how do you test for it? So each cancer affects a different demographic. We've all heard about breast cancer and the numbers surrounding breast cancer, but few people know that testicular cancer is the most common cancer between men 18 to 35. These are young men who are relatively healthy and have their lives changed. Prostate cancer is extremely, extremely high um, among older men. Um, cervical cancer among women, you know, right now they have the HPV vaccine. Yeah. That's one way to protect yourself and prevent cancer and get those teenage girls to have the vaccine. Um, lung cancer stops smoking. You know, we've all heard about lung cancer. We're here to stop smoking. 
how many people actually are putting down those cigarettes and taking a stand and saying, hey, I want a healthier lifestyle. Oral cancer, just getting screened. Um, skin cancer, throw skin that sunscreen cancer. on. That affects people ages 18 to 80. Um, and you know, cancer won't say, oh, you know, you have a good job, you have a good family. I'm not going to strike you. You're a good person. Cancer can affect absolutely anyone, and I think that's the moral. So you, you mean to say that cancer is not hereditary at all? It's not been proven that way. Um, or, or you, if you, saying, no, you, yeah. if you have a family history of cancer, you should be more careful. Yeah, if you have a family history of cancer, you absolutely should be more careful. Um, you need to get screened, um, breast cancer screenings, uh, prostate screenings, cystic ovarian screenings, ovarian. even just going online and learning how to check yourself for skin cancer screenings is vital if you have a, a family history. So if you are a male, you have different type of cancers you have to look, look mm -hmm. upon. And if you are a female, you have a different type of cancer. Yeah. Men and women have different risks for different um, types of cancers. Different ethnicities have different risks for different types of cancers. Um, and so it's really, if you go to preventcancer.org, you can learn about your personal risk based on your hereditary. And, you know, hopefully arm yourself with knowledge because in the battle for prevention of cancer, knowledge is power. So I'm sure that you have all this information in your website. All of the information is on our website, preventcancer.org, about the eight preventable cancers and more. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, thank you, thank you Leslie, so and thank you, Claire, for this opportunity. When the spring